What? What? What were you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Huh? Yeah. Oh, bless me. Welcome back to Lessons, Life Lessons in Film. Greetings. Yeah, greetings. <laughs> and Sun Salutations. And today we'll be uh, making sense of life through Little Women. Little Women. Little Women. Brief synopsis. Yes. It covers five sisters, I believe. Four or five sisters. And they are living with their mom. Their dad is off to, off to war or something like that. Hmm. They're just, you know, growing up together. And the main actors, I guess, or the main characters are Joe and uh, Lori, I would say. <laughs> God, I need to start again. It's so hard to explain what this movie's about. No, keep going. It's all good. Okay, so basically, we see them grow up. We see them experience life. Um, some of them get married and some of them are fighting for making some kind of life for themselves, independent life for themselves like joe joe is mainly is basically the main character is the main character in the movie really she has this friend that she makes who is a guy laurie but he she calls him teddy basically become fast friends and become really close ultimately um fast forward um teddy wants to make it official <laughs> with uh yeah mm -hmm with the Joe. Mm. So I'm going to leave it there because he hasn't seen it. This is my initial mm. reaction. I watched the movie on my own. No, first time. And so I'm trying as, as much as possible not to spoil it for him. Now, as I, I just finished it, you know, a few minutes ago, I guess. And yeah. And you're raw. And I'm feeling kind of raw. I understand that. Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to ruin this movie for you, baby. Yeah, maybe this doesn't work. I don't know. Yeah, maybe this doesn't work. What should we do? Maybe you should head out. I could head out. Yeah, you could, you could take the. Uh, I'll cover could do it, it on your own. Yeah. What before I go? What what would you say? What term of venery would you give to a group of sisters? A coven? A, bro a bushel? I don't think so. A school of sisters. <laughs> Shoal of sisters. I feel like a coven sounds more. Witchy. Maybe a covenant of sisters. It still sounds witchy. Okay, baby girl, let me, let me... You got this. Yeah. Okay, well, I need to know that you can't hear me. Mm, I'll start watching it. Wait, are you ready? Not let yet. me know. Almost. Okay. You sure? You go now. I feel like <laughs> the reason I feel raw, or I felt raw with... Um, at the end of the movie is just because of the relationship between Joe and and Lori. I felt that it was really beautiful. It was de it developed really nicely, and they had they were growing up together, you know. And I felt that this experiencing I don't know youth and coming of age together that can be a, that's a special time I think for everybody, and to go through it with someone who is a true friend and that means so much to you which these two people mean to uh, mean to each other is something that not a lot of people have especially in the way that it is that that Lori and um and joe have and so i i definitely know that i was hoping that they would end up together as much as she feels this kinship towards him does not feel like she's in love with him as he is with her she says something like you'll get tired of me and my scribbling um, all day while her writing. And so, of course, for her, it's really hard in these times that she's fighting for her life to try and make a name for herself as a writer. And she's so committed to that. And she's so upset. You know, I remember that she talks about how she says something like, you know, all women are allowed to be is to fall in love. That's the thing that, that's something like that. That's the only thing that you can aspire to. And I felt really sad when she said that because I, I could understand where she was coming from. But at the same time, I felt sad for her because she was all of these girls are very very young and i think at that tender age there's so much about the future that you don't necessarily understand and i felt like sometimes when you are wanting a career for yourself i thought that that was fantastic of her that that's something that she wanted but i also felt like her views of 
love and later she talks about how she wanted to be loved right I felt like maybe her view of love was a little bit distorted by her desire for independence which I think kind of relate to I know that growing up personally I always just had this whole idea of having a career and that's my number one priority in its most mainstream sense I think liberal fem feminism doesn't do justice to the nuances of being a woman and I think that sometimes it can make it can give women this idea of what is possible and without actually looking at giving them an opportunity to look at life holistically. Later, Jo talks about how she, she, you know, she decides, she feels like if, if Laurie had asked me now, I would say yes. But of course, at this point, he has asked her sister to marry him. And so it's too late. But that's an example of something that her ideals at the time that Laurie initially asked her couldn't foresee for her so it made me really sad you know just knowing how knowing now how difficult it is I think to find someone that you connect with in that way because ultimately there's a time there's a point in your life you know after university and all of and you're working where you realize how important companionship is at the time she's like well you know I don't really love him but I want to be loved like that and the mom was like well that's not the same, you know? And I totally understand that too. As much as I can reconcile with that, she is loved so deeply by this guy, but then she doesn't necessarily feel the same way. I totally understand that. And I think if I'm reflecting on that, truly, I know that I think it was a better choice that they didn't end up together, especially if Lori truly did feel, as he says, deeply for the sister later. I don't know about that. Maybe he was settling. I'm not sure, but he says that he thinks Joe was right when he when she rejected him. Maybe for me right now, it's just me romanticizing the relationship. I'm not really sure. But I definitely was so heartbroken when she wrote the letter and and said to, to tell him, you know, I, I want to get married, basically. And it was too late. That I think that's probably why I was so sad because they had that strong relationship. And then she was strong for her sister, Amy, because she could tell. She was like, you know what? I hope it's okay. Um, I guess it's also that progression of that relationship between Amy and Joe. So I felt really sad for her because she was so busy taking care of everybody that I felt like she forgot to take care of herself and her needs. So I think that's really the thing that I'm most sad about. And I wasn't really happy with the ending, I gotta be honest, because I know that it seemed like everybody was quite content with how things were with things, with their lives. But I really just wasn't happy with um, with the ending. I still feel quite tender about Lori and Joe not ending up together. Yeah, and I'm feeling super raw. <laughs> and I might even go and cry is how invested I was in Joe and Lori's relationship. <laughs> yeah. Baby, I'm done. Okay. Always on the move. What's the name of the movie? <laughs> little woman, little Mr. Women, darling. Little woman. Walking down the street, little mm -hmm. women. Uh, little um, women. They got something to Timothy. eat, little women. Chamelet. So, for instance, yeah. Uh, I liked I like the part where near the end, Joe, I think the oldest sister, is talking with their mother, and she's in a in a crisis because. She is frustrated with the times they're in where women, you know, marrying really is just like, if you want to have money to live, you have to get married and you don't really have many rights and you're kind yeah. of forced into it. But she wants to be a writer, has aspirations to do other things that are just not really easy to do. But at the same time, by pursuing those things, it means she has to give, it makes it a lot harder, for instance, to get into a relationship. And so she at one point says like, I want to be independent, but I'm also so lonely. Yeah, which you is know? much later. Because when she was younger, mm -hmm. she didn't want to be yeah. in a relationship whatsoever. Yeah. She wanted she didn't want to be bogged down yeah. by love. Yeah. Then she yeah, later true. realizes that, you know what? Love isn't the worst. Yeah. The worst thing. You get to a certain point <laughs> and you you're just like, I I don't feel like going to singles bingo anymore. Exactly. You know. Do they have singles bingo? I imagine they do. Do they? They should. They should. And it's it's not even just women that, that struggle with that. It's just people in general. It's like most people 
want both a certain level of independence and some kind of stuff they're doing, then they also want a relationship. You can get lonely out there. And also, I found what's interesting about the story is that you got the four sisters, and uh, th there's a lot of stuff when it comes to, for instance, there's always going to be someone you know that's better off than you in anything. Wealth, whatever. In that case, they focus a lot on land and ownership of things. And there's always going to be someone that has less. There's the one family that has a lot less, and then they go and, and give their Christmas food to them. And then there's other families I know that have can afford nicer dresses and all this kind of stuff. And also, of the, the kids, they all grew up in the same house, and they're all super close for the most part. When you see them bantering, they're super playful and, and so comfortable and relaxed with each other. They put on plays, clubs, and dance and sing with each other all the time. But then at the same time, they're also all so very different. And uh, I think it's in this movie, right, where... Uh, uh, one of the characters, I forget which, says at one point, oh yeah, I think it's like Emma Watson says to, uh, says to maybe Joe, she's like, just because oh, yeah. what I need or, or what I want in my life isn't the same as yours doesn't mean it's invalid, invalid or yeah, yeah, basically what she says. Yeah. And, uh, and that's the thing that that's with people is that you can think these people all grew up so similar and yet their lives turn out completely differently and they're all actually quite different. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And. I find that not really a point there. It's just interesting and true. And inevitably, of course, there's jealousy among the envy among the siblings. Amy feels like Joe gets everything, so she <laughs> burns which her. burns the book. Yeah. Which I thought which was, was very Maybe that's why you didn't want Timothy to get with Amy, because I don't I don't know about you, but I never fully got over I never fully forgave Amy for I never forgave Amy Joe's either. Book. I think it's also just very complicated. Like that's that's the issue I have with Amy. I feel yeah. like she, overall she's really just not a good sister nor a good friend. I wouldn't want this girl as my sister or my friend, honestly. I would like she would be that per that girl, like if she were my sister, I would be sleeping yeah. with a knife. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like and maybe then... it because just in case this girl comes <laughs> like in the middle of the night, you never know. I just gotta be prepared. And I had an issue. I had an issue here because I found that in this in this home, Joe obviously Joe took over the role of the dad because the dad is out there, you know, doing his thing with uh, with the war. And she's doing things like cutting her hair to make money for the sick mm -hmm. sister. And writing and selling her stuff mm -hmm. for like pennies mm -hmm. to support the family and so everybody's just looking they have to they they just give her this responsibility and they are just all of them settled mm -hmm. into the fact that joe is just basically um substitute dad mm -hmm. you know what i mean yep. and they expect her to have this level of maturity over their sisters mm -hmm. and with that maturity that they see and are really very happy to enjoy mm -hmm. and definitely not being reciprocal in the sense of kind of trying to see if they could also mm -hmm. alleviate some of the load off of off of her mm -hmm. they on top of that ex they expect her with like menial things or like a uh, the home <laughs> home thing right um relational stuff in the home they expect her to be the one who be above you have to be above it rise above this mm -hmm. you, yeah she burnt your book rise above it you know mm -hmm. what i mean she's 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 just kind of like, maybe she was just upset. I don't mm -hmm. even remember what they say to her. Mm -hmm. But even the lack of chastising mm -hmm. Amy was a, such a huge concern for me. Mm -hmm. The mom is like, no, she'll forgive you. Yeah, it's kind of like no one really supported Joe. They just kind of were like, well, you'll be able to handle it, Joe. Yeah, but there's no, there. there's yeah. there, there seems to be no, you know, discussing the fact that Amy, what you did was incredibly mm -hmm. messed up. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Even if you're jealous, even if you're upset, mm -hmm. it is such a selfish thing to do. Mm -hmm. It is like venomous. Yeah. It's not one of those things where you're like, well, I'm going to eat your, yeah. your, your ice like, cream yeah. because yeah. you didn't let me go out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. This is that stuff of, I am going to take yeah. you to jail. Yeah. Like if that was copyrighted, yeah. that girl could yeah. go to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's, yeah. that's an example. Uh, sure. I'm very upset. Yeah, I'm very cool. upset with her cool. and I'm upset with the family. For, for having Joe be the bigger man all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I cannot stand that. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And even when this girl decides she's going to take... The bigger little woman in this case. Yeah. The hurts that people inflict on you, <coughs> they stick. Mm -hmm. And there's a history with Amy and Joe of hurt on Joe's end. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That Jamie, that Amy just really truly never um, works to... I don't know, to alleviate. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Off of Joe's heart. Mm -hmm. I have an issue with the mom with the mom too. Why do you have an issue with Marmy? Because I know you have an issue with Marmy too, because Yeah, but we talked about it. I have an issue, it. you have an issue too. And oh Marmy's <laughs> the mother, right? Yeah. Are you, uh trying to think. Remember we talked about the 
you know, the jug. Christmas. I, Christmas, sweetie. Oh, yes, yeah, right, that's right. Uh, yeah, where she decided to give, uh, make, uh, shame her cure, her, her little women. Shame? Guilt she, trips. She didn't shame. Well, she's kind of like, come on, we've got more than these. This oh, thing. they was that. That's true. You know, you're right. Yes. So then they're all like, she yeah, did I feel she bad. She totally about. shamed. Yeah. So then she guilt trips her little women into giving all these delicious looking uh, foods that they had prepared for Christmas to this other poorer family, even though they weren't particularly well off to begin with. Yeah. And then apparently, yeah, uh, I forget this, but the, the one daughter, the youngest, I think, yeah. got the one who fever. Dies. From the, from oh, the, no. yeah. And now, why do we have an issue with this? Because people are going to be out there like, oh, you well, don't care about giving yeah, to, well, to, to for the... me, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a tricky thing because you could look at it as an act of charity and a lesson that you want to pass on to your kids that's like, you know, it feels good, not only does it feel good, but it's the right thing to do to give to others, especially those that have less than you, right? Yeah. The downside to that is, first of all, you could give all this amazing food to this family that will never have it again because they aren't actually in a position to normally get that kind of food. So now you've kind of raised their standard titulated. bracket. You've titillated their brackets <laughs> yeah. on all these different foods that now they can never reach that bracket again. So that's kind of torturous. And uh, and it's also, it's kind of like what people do with charity sometimes. Like, I did a good deed once to these people. Now, the, yeah. the, their situation is going to go back to how it was. Yeah, but I'll do it for next one year day, Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you know. So it doesn't really fix anything. Now you could say one act of kindness is still better than no acts of kindness. But And the question is, the issue I had personally was, okay, act of kindness, great, but to whom? Mm. Why act of kindness to other people versus act of kindness to your children? Mm. You guys are not in a great position, first of all. You have one daughter slaving away and cutting her hair mm -hmm. to help you buy food in mm -hmm. the house. Mm -hmm. And their dad is out there fighting wars and everybody's just on edge about is he that might never come back. He might never, never kind of come back. Yeah. This is literally the thing that is looming over their heads yeah. all the time, right? Mm -hmm. All of these things are, are hovering. Mm -hmm. Issues that they deal with, like the one of the sisters who, Emma Watson, I don't remember her, is, is it her Emma Watson, I yeah. believe? It? She goes to the dance and she doesn't have a dress yeah. and yeah. these, yeah. and then, you know, and she's feeling, I'm, I'm just checking her name and she's super embarrassed, right? Mm -hmm. And then they even change, give her a different name, Meg. They give her a different name, Daisy, oh, yeah. they call her, you know, because Meg is just too common, isn't it? Oh, is that why? Yeah, like, well, uh, well, I don't know, but that's that's kind of one of those things where people just kind of are very dismissive of you. It, it, it is really, you know, even I, if even if no one says it, but it is quite... I, I did take it as, like, that person in particular was giving the nickname just as a way to knock her, knock her down. And you're right, it probably is because maybe she senses, like, you don't belong here, so I'm just going to change your name because I don't care about you, you know? Giving in and of itself is a good thing. Mm. However, don't go out there being a philanthropist if you are on the struggle bus. Mm. Do you know what I mean? If yeah. your kids are on the struggle bus, yeah. it is so unkind. Mm -hmm. Everybody has certain comfort levels. Mm -hmm. You know that your problems as, like if you're in the middle class, your problems are different from a rich person's problems. Rich mm. people have problems too. You know what I mean? Like they'll have a problem with things like if I if I donate here, I'm not going to be able to buy my jet and my the community of yeah right like the community that I'm surrounded by. Every single person has a jet. What does that mean? If I don't have a jet, yeah. you're booted. Yeah. You're ostracized immediately. Yeah. That is a genuine problem. Someone can think, oh well, well that's yeah, like well, super then snobby. Who cares, right? Find a different neighborhood, but yeah, a lot of people it's not easy. want to find a neighborhood that they fit in and are accepted by the rest of the community. Yeah, like it's it's your community. You understand it. You know how it's going to be too difficult to start from scratch. All of these things. Mm -hmm. My point is with with this, it felt really harsh for the for the girls. They were also clearly very sad. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They wanted this. They were excited to have a Christmas. Just yeah. like, man, the year has been rough. Mm -hmm. And they were excited to just have like this beautiful dinner, yeah. right? Anyway, I just had an issue here because it was the mom who was doing this, who was making the kids give up their their Christmas. I, I felt like the mom was very, just not very a present mom mm -hmm. in the way of seeing how much her kids just didn't even the little things like she what they needed mm -hmm. do you know what i mean mm -hmm. i felt like there were just so many sacrifices that the entire family was making all the time and she's always gone she's always out there helping people all the time they, mm -hmm. they would reference that yeah. and i'm like you have kids at your at home yeah. who are struggling it is good to give it really is 
but what is that quote that you, you told me about that was that was absolutely fantastic do you remember that quote that you gave me where like it, it, it's, uh, it describes something about a teat or something. Yeah, you never like, step in the same river twice? No, baby. That's a good quote. If there isn't milk coming out, if oh, you're not yeah. overflowing <laughs> yeah. with milk. Yeah, if, you're, if, yeah, if you don't have uh, an overabundance of, of lactation, then you can't be just giving it giving it to other ra random people. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like if you have a kid, imagine this, your mom, yeah. you just gave birth. Like some moms, they have a thing where they, they keep lactating yeah so then they bottle it and then they do sell it to people or they do it fine if you really have more than enough it just keeps happening even when your kid's full yeah. okay fine bottle it and do something with it yeah but if you don't if you if you're not creating an overabundance then keep it, keep it for, for your, your kid, kid yeah it, don't yeah. let your kid ration yeah. uh, your milk yeah <laughs> as a mom yeah you know to be altruistic yeah so that's the issue i have yeah and what's her name yeah, Meryl Streep. Well, I, I remember I was a little more put off by her at first, but you you shared your perspective, and so I was won over by her uh, actually having more charm than I than I was giving her credit for and being a decent, more decent person. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know in terms of, like, overall, I, I don't... What issues did you initially have with well, I th her? Yeah, I thought she was kind of, like, rude and mm -hmm. grumpy, but yeah. realizing that she more just... Uh, she's realistic. She's... Pragmatic. She's honest. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, she did a great job. Yes. Meryl yeah, Street. Meryl Streep. I love you so much. So I actually really liked Aunt March. Mm. I thought she was a good person. Mm. You thought that he was. He thought that he was not a good person, and I feel like maybe a lot of people might think that. And there were just little things that revealed that to me. Things like when Lori goes and gives her, gives her a hug, she has like this yeah. tiny little cute smile, like yeah. oh, she says oh, get him off me, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. but then she's kind of you know charmed, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so that's things like that, little things like that, yeah. um, will reveal. Okay, she she's quite yeah, she's, she's quite endeared yeah, to Lori, isn't she's it? Still got some <laughs> Yeah, life there, and the joy to her. Yeah. Yeah. Later, when she's passed, she leave. She leaves the house to Joe, mm. the person that everybody thought Aunt Marsh didn't like. Right. Mm -hmm. and Joe even says that she's like, "Oh, I thought she hated me. I can't believe it." Right. And this lady is real. Mm -hmm. She's the person I want in my corner. She tells it like it is. True. She's looking at the world. Hard facts. Yeah. She's looking at the hard reality. She, she'd be the one that was like. Amy, you're being a bish. Yeah. With that whole burn book stuff. Yeah. Not cool. Yeah. You need to hang out in the cellar for a couple months. Yeah. Yeah. I think she also alludes to being quite happy with the situation at March, right? Like with her situation at, the, at present where she's not married anymore. She married Rich. The guy's dead now and like all is good. He, she's quite happy to be single. So in my mind, I felt like I found Aunt March to be quite similar to Joe which in the end made sense to me why she left Joe this money because she likes, she enjoys the same independence mm -hmm. that Joe aspires to, yeah. to. She respects Joe's schwad uh, kicking butt and taking Yeah, hands. exactly. And I feel like she's also very, she's a very strategic lady, very smart because she was looking at all of these people. She's like, okay, Amy is pretty. She's not very smart. She needs, she's, she needs to go to France and get married <laughs> to the rich guy because Joe was the one who wanted to go to France mm -hmm. and thought that Aunt yeah. March would take her yeah. only to find that, oh, she's actually taking um, Amy. Yeah. Then Aunt March passes and leaves her the home. She's super surprised. But Aunt March was like, I know that the only people, the only person who's going to make this worth anything, this house that I'm leaving, is Joe. Why? Mm -hmm. Because Joe has been taking care of this entire family, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. she indeed does. She mm -hmm. has a school and she actually, mm -hmm. and things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I, I like Aunt March. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I don't want people who are like soft and coddling me. Oh, the world is nice and fluffy. The world is not nice and fluffy. Life is hard. Spiky. Yeah, it's spiky. It, there's so many beautiful things about the world. And what you do can make it so wonderful and yeah. make every day, yeah, you, make you look forward to every day. Yeah. But you have to work like crazy for it. Yeah. There's, you know what I mean? There's a small bug in between the spikes. Yeah. Gooey, gooey layers that you can walk. Squish, 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 nice and mushy. <laughs> well, I just want to guide a, a good um, map through the swamp, yeah. and 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 March has that map. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's yeah, about it. That's it. But what do you guys think? Yeah. Little women. Comment down below. Comment. Yeah, let us know. And Tell share us. your thoughts on our thoughts. Sure. Yeah. 
and yeah, hope you enjoy. But until next time, eh, that's a wrap. Peace.